but it's just coming up to the Tron Gate, the famous clock tower. You see it there? Now, I don't know the way into this park. So, apparently, there's a big protest. I thought I'd come along and film it, see if anything happens. Yeah. It's a pro Palestine march. So it's marching to the Emirates. Um, so I'm not sure the way in. What's a police present? The reason being, I think there's lots of police, is there is this march today in Rangers Football Club are playing at Ibrox in Glasgow and there seems to be a division around the Israel-Palestine conflict in Glasgow. If you support Celtic, you support the Palestinian cause. I know that's a stereotype, but that's a perceived stereotype. If you support I think I'm on the wrong end. If you support um, Rangers then you are supporting Israel in the conflict. That's the belief. Obviously there's differences. Oh, on the wrong end. I walk around. Okay, we're going in. Wouldn't be Glasgow if it seen a bottle of butt first. Lying in the street. So here we are, this is uh, the Barrowland Park, the Barrowlands, just up there, that way, and this is the park, so this is the meeting place, oh, there. oh good one. It's a sky slag. Okay. It's not as big a crowd as I thought there would be. Um, I'll go anyway. See what it's all about. I want to show you this, this is cool for those of you who haven't been here. So each colour represents a band that I've played here in Glasgow at the Barrowlands. Green Day, Eurasia, Massive Attack, The Stone.
sweet potato. So it's well, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'll send you that guy there. He works where I'm going. What what is that flag? Uh, Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh, okay. Wake okay. up, it's a long night. I'll be Egypt. Wake up, it's the brightest sky. I think that's maybe the Lebanese flag. So I don't know what time the march starts. It's supposed to start at twelve. Uh, oh, it's off here in the disrepair here. Look. <laughs> it's just like raising money for Palestine, yeah? There's lots of different hats and stuff like I said about the Celtic, you see the, the green and white hat? Uh, you see a few Celtic supporters with that one on. I want to know what that says in that American flag. What does it say? Adam Bushnell. Who's that? This guy here. Oh, is that the guy that... The American? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was it? Was that in America? Yeah, that? Outside the embassy. And was he a serving soldier? Yeah. American. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, 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 I can't watch stuff like that. Like, I, I heard about it. I know, I know. The guys in Yeah, I, I seem I to start, but then I couldn't. I can't watch things like that, so I know, I know, I know. We send videos from all over the world with videos of the children lying injured with their open fractures. Right. When their legs open fractures, bones sticking out, it's hardly consistent. Right. You know, I was speaking to the, the guys at the Muslim stall in Buchanan Street, and they were saying there's a march every week. Uh -huh. Every Saturday. Does, does it go different places? Yeah. Uh, around the block. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's yeah. at the BBC. Sometimes, sometimes it's in Edinburgh. <laughs> How do you know? How do you? Well, G -Jack. G -Jack. Right. Just, uh, you just, it's just a simple right thing as a human being to do is support humanity, isn't it? And at the end of the day, we're all, well. we're all, we're all, we're all under God's one sky, aren't well. we? Well, getting busy. I don't know if you can hear me over that loud music. Yeah, but certainly a bigger crowd appearing. That's the BBC free, free. camera people here. From the river to the sea. Look at this old police box. I see that. Look at that. <laughs> Is that right to clap them? Oh yeah! I love dogs! <laughs> hello, what's her name? That's Bria. Bria? And that's Anna. Anna. Oh, hello Bria. Together they oh make the Brianna. <laughs> I didn't even do that in first. <laughs> Just accidentally. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful They're not dogs. Aware. I'm determined to go somewhere over here. I don't know what's <laughs> Hey, 
also in Glasgow. There's an MSP, a member of the Scottish Parliament. His name is Paul Sweeney. And those are the people in the video that stormed Paul Sweeney's Obeho. Paul Sweeney said they stormed his office. And Police Scotland said they didn't. And then that group released a video saying showing that they, they, they actually didn't storm and um, the MSP came in for a lot of criticism of interest and Excuse me! Did I not see you guys on the news at Paul Sweeney's office? Well, there were people there. There were people there, yeah. yeah. It's just, well, it's just because I seen that he said that people stormed his office and he's bullshit. Well, he's well, bullshit. But then even the cops told him he was talking to his ass. They were very well behaved. Yeah, because peace loving. Peace yes. is loving. Police Scotland did they not release a statement? They did. Yeah. To, they, 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 they said to his to his Twitter saying, "Look, you're talking to your ass, mate." Yes. Yeah. The actual thing was that we, when people opened doors, we went through them. Every oh, Muslim the staff guys who is here, so come and talk to us. Be it Shia or Sunni, we can't do anything for you. We can organise your visit. We can have MSP or something like that. Who can talk to you about it? Whoever else. Yeah. That's all they had to do. They said so they ran away. I would like to welcome every Jew who is here yeah. to support the people of Palestine. Cause protesters. As Muslim extremists, we tell him that is not the case. We are Rishi Sunak getting booed after his statement. If you missed it, he released a statement after Josh Galloway won the by-election look as a watch deal. To hijack British politics, we tell him we do no such thing. We are part. So the huge boo was for Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? See, see if a police officer writes a report to the Procurator Fiscal and it's get, it says things that, that's basically lies and you complain about that, is that treated as a serious offence? What do you mean? If you don't agree with what's going on? Yeah. But if you have evidence it shows the contrary, like if, I, if oh, you... That, that's, that's the purpose, that, that's the role of the court, to assess the report that's made and the evidence that supports it or doesn't support it. Yeah, well, but the thing is, it, the, the case got dropped, right? And basically it's a guy flying a drone, they said it was unfavourable weather conditions, but they recorded everything and it showed it was a lovely day. And the police in their report to the Procurator Fiscal said that it was unfavourable weather conditions, but the video showed that it wasn't. So see when that person complains, is that how serious is that treated? Is that like a serious mispractice? Well, to be honest, without the specific circumstances, if someone's written in good faith that they thought they made it, they really interpreted something in a certain way, the weather, it's difficult for someone to make a judgment on that either way. But what if it says things like as well, the other thing it said was um, the person was being evasive and refused to tell them what they were doing, but when you watch the video, they repeatedly tell them what they were doing. <laughs> But how serious is it treated though? Is it like a serious effect? So the other thing as well is, right, the person recorded everything. And when they got their device back, after the courts threw it out and they, they deleted the video, the police officer took control of the phone while it was still recording. They shut it off and when the person got their phone back, their video was in the deleted section of the phone. So, it, now that person was relying on that video as evidence in court, and that police officer deleted that video. Is that a serious defense? But again, 
there, there's grounds there. If somebody wanted to make a complaint, they can make a complaint. For us to make an assessment of that standing here right now without no possession of the facts would be wrong. There's a due process for it. So if, if somebody wants to make a complaint about an, an irregularity or how our officers conducted themselves, then they can, and if they feel they should, then they should. But for us to make a, an assessment of that right now without having made that inquiry, which has a process to add it, but I think there's a process there for it through a specific department. We, we can't make judgments on that. It would be wrong for us to do it. We, we'd be making judgments on something we know no, but just, almost nothing about. Just as a police officer, if, if a complaint that's made to the police about a complaint against the police is read and is treated seriously and will be looked at on the, on the individual merits, you know. But it undermines that due process for making the complaint if we start mouthing off. If we start saying this, that, and other about it, no, but not we like, need to make judgments on it. No, but, I suppose the point I'm making is I wouldn't be drawn on something like that because well we are speaking for the public police officers in uniform you're asking that question if there's a due process for it then it's right it goes through that we can't prejudge it we, we can't make judgments on something that we are really don't know very much about at all it wouldn't be fair on anybody can, can I say to you is every complaint against the police and every complaint made to the police against another member of the public whatever is treated seriously and inquiries made in, into yeah. but we can't really speak on individual cases and stuff like that so but, in yeah. answer to your question yeah it will be treated oh. if the complaints be made it will be treated as a complaint and it will be dealt with but you know how when you work somewhere and somebody comes and says to you oh by the way there's an allegation against so and so and this is the allegation and you know oh that's a serious if they they're going to get a serious kind of talking to you an investigation it's just wonder is thing. it treated serious because yeah. the police investigate what themselves basically serious, aren't they what someone sees as serious can be uh, there can be as many interpretations as there are many uh, people know about it so you know what's serious to one person might not seem serious to those so again it's, it's, a, it's an impossible question to answer but we can tell you it will be looked into as if you complain against the police is Right, but without having all the facts, we can't give you any further than that. Well, if you've made a complaint against the police or whoever's made a complaint so against So they have the contacted professional standards. Yep. Um, but I say it's like, um, that was last Friday and they still haven't heard anything back. But, do you know, I don't know the exact time it goes at the moment, but that might be quite normal. Uh, usually an acknowledgement would come fairly quickly, but like a lot of folk in this is a workload to manage and it just depends on what they're doing the time. And also with shifts, it could be whoever's got that inquiry, I'll get the inquiry and then go to rest days and then go back. Because we don't work regular hours. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. That adds on to the time for things. Alright. Hi, listen, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Take care, alright? You mentioned that the police investigate themselves in the first place. Aye. There's then the Police Investigation Review Commissioner, which is independent, so that can review any decision made if someone's not happy with the thoroughness and rigour of the police investigation. So there is that independent. Right, the PIRC. Listen to it, yes. Alright, okay. Well, listen, have a good day, alright? Take care. See you later. That's actually two police officers, as you heard. Um, they have views that they've never been drawn, will they? Into making any statements about the misconduct of their colleagues. But yeah, we'll, we'll proceed with that complaint anyway. The people of Ghana are living in a genocide. There is no other word to describe it. It is genocide. And we have to stop it. It is genocide, not for the sake of genocide. It is the sake of the sake What's the, what's the police position now how like they will chant like from the river to the sea, yeah. Palestine will be free and people say that's anti-Semitic, how's that viewed? Um, the advice that we have is that whilst it may offend some people it's non-criminal so we wouldn't intervene at this time. Oh yeah, okay. Just, you see that allegation made don't you? Uh, the anti-Semitic, it's basically seen the, the cleansing of the Israeli state. Um, yeah, the it, Jewish it's community. an unfair company, but they say it's not the advice that we have from uh, the Foreign Office and from the previous uh, events, but that it's not. Uh, I think the 
Uh, cheers for that safety thing. So I asked her, I don't know if you could pick that up there because it's dead noisy. I asked him what the position is that there's the allegation that when they chant from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. The Jewish community says that that's anti-Semitic because it's promoting the, the cleansing of the Israeli state. Um, from Palestine. And he just basically said that the information from the Crown, the project fiscal, is that it's not anti Semitic. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, when I asked him a question, he had a quick glance down at the camera before he answered. He's <laughs> also trying to be careful what he's saying. And they're off. So the police as well, more over there, another two van fills. So I don't know if you're getting the glare from the sun, I apologise if you are. <laughs> the people on the bus will not be too impressed. This is East End of Glasgow. So what I'll do is I'm gonna screen record the map. Wow, it's quite big. A lot of people here. Boycott apartheid. A sign there. I think that was considered anti Semitic as well by some. But I don't know. I'm certainly not qualified to pass judgment. World Athletics Hypocrisy Stinks. I apologise if you're getting a glare from the sun. That woman's shouting racist stuff. I'm not gonna repeat what she said, oh my god. <laughs> I tell you what, if you were on one of those buses you would not be happy. <laughs> What's interesting is you don't get the the attention that you see the other auditors down south. I watched Charlie Beach's videos in Marty Blagborough in New Yorkshire. Anytime they go to 
Palestine demos, they seem to get targeted, but there's been quite, not the case in Glasgow, there's lots of people going around filming. cameras There's the barras The Sari heat but it's proper pronunciation, the Saracen's Head, called the Sarahid. There's a barrel and just for context of where we are. Looking at me on this wall, don't light, light me up here. Zionism is racism. Victory to the Intifada. Still going. A bar for the wee man's. The wee man's bar. <laughs> so in East End Glasgow, when they were building all these modern houses, they kept these old structures. If you look, excellent. I don't know what the buildings used to be, but they kept the old clock. I think it's running five minutes too fast. Wow. Look at that, eh? I don't know if that's a wee garden or something up there. Cool. <laughs> Your 
man there's no happy. He's not <laughs> he's waiting a bus. He asked you please, is that going all the way to Park K? So, even even when his bus comes, he's gonna be behind this march. This is now just walking. I want to get a shot of this hotel from across the road, right? This is the Belgrove Hotel and it's a five star hotel in Glasgow. So if you're ever in Glasgow, make sure you. Oh no, it's closed. <laughs> I'm just joking. It was a hotel for a, the homeless and it was always really kind of run down and full of dodgy characters, but I see it's shut down now. It's, I've not been along this way for a, quite a while, so I don't know how long it's been closed, but... Kind of ruined the joke. <laughs> Looks a bit more run down. Oh, he's trying to beat that, he's never beaten it. Oh, 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 oh. This is the... <laughs> is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Oh, watch that lady. Oh, they let him out. He's lucky. I was just saying, look at all the litter and stuff here. It's an eyesore. It's in like... 35 minutes. <laughs> you wonder how he <laughs> just keeps shouting. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sore throat tonight. I go to the football now and it hits me for about two or three days after that and you start shouting at the football. And they're shouting nowhere near as much as I shout when I'm at the football. Again. Filth, man. Just tidying it up. Oh, you see a lot of comments about Glasgow, people saying it's just filthy now, it's disgusting looking. And as you see me earlier, all that rubbish. Oh, these houses were here the last time I was here. It's like they have these lovely new builds, spend a lot of money building these nice new houses only for the outside of them to look like that, covered in rubbish. You wonder what it is, don't you? Is it people, is it the council not properly funding the litter guys to go and pick up or is it the community, have they to take some responsibility? make sure that you know the area that they live in is nice you know you've got to take pride in where you live wow look, look at the modern and the old wonder what that used to be it's an old school What was that, do you know? No, it's not a Yeah, no, to see, yeah. Oh, it's a, it used to be a swimming bath, look. Oh, right. Yeah, look. Oh, it, it, it used to be like swimming, I a think, swim. eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, you see these old buildings and amongst all these it's new, like you know? The like contrast. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen them as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean. 
Yeah. Yeah. Try explaining that to TG generation, the youngsters, eh? Used to go for a bath somewhere like that. <laughs> So that old building used to be a, a bath, so I don't know if it was like that in other parts of the world where they had these big buildings that were just full of baths where people went and got washed um, before we had the luxury of baths and showers in our, our own houses. Um, but interesting that the building is still there because there's other places in Glasgow where they've, they've tore the building down. Um, but no, White Vale Baths, it was said. Interesting. Hello Harris! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's Harris! Oh, it's beautiful, so it was. Again, look at this, just bags of rubbish dumped. And uh, that's his custom number in Glasgow, I don't know if you see that there, 1690. That's a reference to the Battle of the Boyne where King Billy came and defeated uh, King Charles II, wasn't it? Um, his forces uh, to reinstate the, the British Crown. Um, if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments. Yeah, so as we're just getting to the Emirates, oh my god, you forget how long that walk is. I think there's Celtic Park. Ah, it's a camera, huh? Oh, no, and it's, it's a DJI pocket. Alright, okay. It's cool, man. Um, it takes photos and video. Did you draw the shots, bro? Did you draw the drawings? Did you get to do this? Oh my god. You forget how long that walk is. I'm knackered. I think I just jumped the bus back. Aye, aye. Yeah, go back at the city centre. Yeah. Don't know about that. <laughs> There it is, the final destination. Oh, thank God, I am knackered. I don't know why I decided to fall it. But again, look at all that rubbish. Jesus, people dump mattresses and everything down there. Oh my God. more police and protesters waiting at the Emirates. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you doing alright? When, when are you guys getting body one video? <laughs> I said we're not getting body worn video because it's, it's always up for them. Um, it's always oh, it's coming, it's coming, but it never arrives. And we know why they, they do not want body worn video. That's where. Well.
While we listen to tunes made by ignorant fools Israel blocked the human from delivering food They bring in the ch- Oh, that's better You wanna take me 